Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new type of event in the game now. It's called Discover Pandas Conjuring, which we're going to go ahead and take a look at in today's video, see what's it all about. And I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know everything that you need to know about this new event in today's video. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so take a look at this. It says, this cover Panda's Conjuring. This literally dropped today with the new season. So it says, Panda's been conjuring up something extraordinary. He's found a way to summon monsters through magical gates. Okay. Get seasonal summon tickets from Monster Gym's main events, such as maze, marathon challenges, bounty hunt, and some breeding events. Not all breeding events, but some. And bring them to the seasonal conjuring gate for a chance to get device 22, this year's Black Friday monster. So, and then it tells you what the monster is about. Oh, and don't forget to visit the general conjuring gate. You can summon monsters there using the general summon tickets you, you'll obtain in the daily bonus calendar, daily missions, and monster world events. If you want to know everything about that, okay, hit more info. And it takes you somewhere else. Okay, let's see where it takes us. Okay. So, Panda's Conjuring, okay. Conjuring gates, here you'll be able to summon monsters. There are two gates, seasonal and general, that you'll that give you the chance to summon monsters from two different pools. Open the probability screen of each gate to see what the monsters they offer, as well as your chance of getting them. Summon tickets, now that you know what the gates are, you'll want to know where you need to use them. The answer is summon tickets. You can summon monsters using summoning tickets or summon tickets specific to each of the gates seasonal summon tickets you'll be able uh you'll be able to get them at the air shop from different events such as mazes marathon okay and then general summon tickets you'll be able to find them at the air shop and also in the daily bonus calendar so this is like the normal i guess like the basic and then you get the seasonal summon tickets where you can obtain from like different types of events and also air shop however there's everything or there's something you should know about the seasonal summon tickets They'll only be valid during the season in which you obtain them. After the season during gates expires, leftover season summon tickets will automatically convert into the same number of general. Okay, so you can only use them this season basically. Uh, guaranteed rewards. You can you can get some rewards apparently. Next to the summon button to each gate, you will see the guaranteed reward you will receive after a certain number of summons. Okay, cells and eggs. Let us save you a trip to Dr. Virtue's lab. You can obtain either cells or eggs of many different monsters. However, if you obtain the egg of a monster you already own, you'll automatically receive. Okay, so it looks like they'll basically automatically give you that. Try conjuring. Oh, so they give you 470 tickets straight away for free. So everything, everybody should be able to get 400 for free. Maybe, I feel like they'll probably not give lower players the same amount. I'm not sure. I hope they do. And anyways, Panda Conjuring has arrived to Monster Residence. Use the summon tickets. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and claim it. We got 400. It says you have enough tickets to summon X1. Give it a try. Okay. So, yeah. Now it give us five. And is that it? Okay. So if we go ahead and take a look at this. Six days and 14 hours. Spending maze coins will help you advance through this time challenge. Where you will get seasonal summon tickets for reaching Monster Zones. Okay, so there's up to 455 of the seasonal summon tickets. That is not what they give us, right? They give us the general one, if I'm not mistaken. And you can find that. You should be able to find it somewhere here. Why is it not in here? Is it one of these ones? Hmm, that's weird. It should have been in the other. Could it be here? Do, do, do. let's see let's see let's see now we got the lottery tickets it's not in there so that's quite interesting um but anyways so apparently if we head over to the error shop we should be able to find something oh here we go okay so you can go ahead and get yourself um so let me see 275 tickets this is the summon tickets it says zero seconds so the, these last up until the end of the season basically um, but anyways, if you want to purchase yourself the most summon tickets, it'll cost you 100 bucks for 3,100 uh, 3, tickets. So 3,100 tickets for 100 bucks. Or you can get yourself seasonal tickets, which uh, is up to 27 days, it seems like. I don't know why these other ones have zero seconds on them, but this one has time. Uh, but anyways, 59.99, you can get yourself um, 1825 of them. Oh, here we go. So 3,100... <laughs> or 3,100 of the seasonal tickets will be basically 100 bucks. So same amount, 
same price same amount but different um, types of tickets interesting 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 so this is where you basically obtain them now take a look at this in the bottom right all right bottom right you see where it says conjuring black friday you probably can't see it because of my webcam but bottom right next to the shop it should say conjuring black friday if you tap on it this will appear all right so conjuring black friday this right here is a monster apparently yes you're looking at a monster <laughs> i thought this was a book for a second <laughs> i see it. they literally copied the um, design of an iphone you see that three cameras okay all right hey, anyway so <laughs> Conjuring Black Friday, interesting. So you've got the two elements for the monitor device, 22 guaranteed after 87 summons. So after 81 summons, oh, it costs 400 tickets for five summons? You guys see that? 400, no, what? Not enough tickets. Now here's the, here's the funny part. You need the red tickets, not the other ones that they give you for free. So in order to get the red tickets, obviously, you can either wait for some of these events to obtain it through there. Now, right now, I know it's not available. Uh, it might be through one of these paths. If you look at it, it might be in here. Oh, look, Conjuring right here. So one point for every maze coin spent. So that's just a point towards this. So wait, 24. I want to see, hold on, 24. So if we tap once. 24 okay so it goes 24 points that's good that's actually good i thought it would be every time you spend like a single time you click let's say you click on it one time right single time it'll be one instead of the 24 that would have been terrible but okay i get it now so the more you spend basically the more tickets it'll give you but here's the funny part here is the funny part guys i don't think anybody's going to spend twenty-five thousand in this maze right 27 25 000 coins and the monster is terrible it's not even worth it now here's the thing i'm sure many many players will actually purchase this one which is going to be 30 bucks for 10 000 coins so 10 000 coins that's literally instantly 10 000 points right there because at the end of the maze well actually yeah 10 000 instantly right um so about 17 000 something or 18 000 let's say precisely close to eight, close to 18 000 yeah people will spend for those that want to go for at least a rank four if not a rank five, right? If you want to go for rank five, obviously it's going to be maybe around 20,000 for those of you guys that are going to purchase, for example, these, the maze banks, right? So around 20k, let's just say. You're only going to get up to 200 of these seasonal summon tickets. This is not good. Because look, if you head over to the country on Black Friday, 400 tickets are for five summons. Now let me actually show you guys. I'm going to I'm gonna just move my camera here real quick, my um, webcam. I'm going to move my, move my webcam right here, down here. Look at this. So... You're going to spend 400 of these for five summons. Now, keep in mind, you need 85 summons in order to get this monster guaranteed. Like literally in order to get this 85. Now, here's the thing. This monster is not broken or anything like that. I've seen some of his skill sets. It's quite interesting, but honestly, I'm not really a huge fan of this monster. Uh, it's not like it's going to be a super broken monster. So if you don't get if you don't get it at the end of the event, don't even worry about it honestly it's not like one of those monsters where you're gonna be like oh man i wish i got it now if we tap on the conjuring here what do we have here oh look at this let me move this so this is the 400 tickets that they give us for so hmm if we tap on summon what are we really summoning though it's probably gonna be a random reward i'm assuming you know what for the purpose of this video i'm going to do this i'm gonna go ahead and move my webcam right here i keep moving my webcam left and right but anyways 400 we're gonna spend the 400. Let's see what we're gonna get. We're gonna summon five. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Animation. Ooh. Okay. Panda. Oh, what do we got? The results. We got the results. Okay. So they give us five. No. Wait, no. Are we choosing? Oh, no. It says claim all. So they give us a Enrica for free. We got five salts for Alpha Clivius. 5 for Tamiran, 5 for Chuckle, and 5 for Noor. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. Anyways, for those, here's the thing actually. You can probably get your first free Mythic. Like literally, your first Mythic for free. You can literally get it right now through this event, I would say. I feel like this will mostly help beginner players though, to be honest with you. Um, like, But here's the thing. I don't think it's guaranteed a free Mythic. You know what I mean? I could probably try it on my baby account. All right, I actually want to check this out on my baby accounts, okay? So here we are. I logged in. I'm going to go ahead and see if they're going to give us any of that 
<clears throat> panda of conjuring thing they should be right come on no are you serious where the heck is panda's conjuring no are you kidding me wait do i not have access to it is it because i'm below level 30 or something could that be the reason i'm not sure we can check the news real quick nope who cares about that wait oh oh you're giving me rewards i'll claim that anyways what else do we got do 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 it is not in here no and my game is updated so i don't know oh i leveled me up too that's cool <laughs> i guess level 27 we'll take that but um yeah unfortunately guys it is not letting me you know access it for some reason all right so unfortunately it is not letting me access the conjuring events on my baby account so i'm not sure if that's for everybody that's like in that like level area i guess we could call it uh but we're gonna go ahead and back go back to the events so here's the thing honestly i don't think i don't know if you can really get this monster can you like it says here's the thing okay so it says 85 summons and you have to do the red summons, the red ticket summons. Because look, if I move my webcam again, you know what? I'm just going to keep it there for the rest of this video. But anyways, look at this. In the bottom, it says 0 out of 85 so far that we've done, right? Summons. And you need the red tickets. If you go to the other one, right? We already spent 400 for 5 summons. And that 5 summon does not go towards that. So you need the red tickets specifically. And here's the thing with the red tickets. If you head over back to this event you're gonna spend let's see how much um doo -doo -doo. so let's say 2000 is 100 100 180 another 80 50 30 okay here's the thing i <laughs> i don't know if it's possible to get this device monster free to play really so altogether it's 1595 tickets that they're basically giving you with 1595 tickets that's about altogether maybe around 10 15 summons the most really and again, you need about 85 summons in order to get this device monster, right? The device 22. Yeah, 85 summons. That's a lot of summons you got to do. So I don't know if, if it's really possible obtaining this mythic monster free to play. The probabilities here, let's check this out. So for, for example, a Blossom monster, some monsters that they're giving you is Duke, where you have 0.1% chance. This is the rarest thing you can get, seriously. But getting his cells isn't, and eh, that's also kind of rare. 0.35%, what, what, what are these probabilities? Are you kidding me? No way. To get a Vrak Shriker, it's 0.1%, are you kidding me? And just to get five of his cells, it's 0.35%. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. What about this? So they're giving, at least they're giving you Monk Flamorg, which is pretty good. And I guess, I think Alarak is the one in the Era Saga, right? For Spirit of Destiny. So those are the only two that are really worth there. UV Fusion, Venteras, Gekon, I guess, for maybe for Bounty Hunts. Device 22. Oh, they're giving you cells at least. Well, here's the thing actually. Ha, huh, okay. So. It is possible obtaining it free to play, but you're going to have to get super lucky because here's the thing. You don't, here's the thing for a guaranteed device 22, you need 85 summons. But if you could spend those tickets, chances of, of you obtaining device 22 here is 0.1%. So if you could get super lucky and get that 0.1%, you can get yourself this mythic monster or also you can get 10 cells, but what are you going to do with 10 cells? Really? So there are some other monsters available here as well. If you take a look at this yeah, it's meh honestly i don't think anybody really cares about legendaries now the chances of you getting legendaries are very very high look at this 70 percent right 70 percent is pretty high so you'll mostly get legendaries or for example legendary cells and then obviously there's a nine percent chance there but the lowest chance of you obtaining are basically these things right here i'd say these two you have a three percent chance of getting um what are these metro monsters yeah I don't know. Overall, I'm not really a huge fan of this event, honestly. Um, don't get your hopes up, I would say. All right. You can drink events. This right here, this is the only thing you could really do, I would say. Um, although, I, I, here's the thing, I shouldn't say that. You could also do this, but I'm just saying they give you that 400 tickets for free. So that free five summons, you're probably going to get one mythic. You know, if you get lucky like I did, I got it on Rika, which I already have. And it's pretty outdated. The monster sucks. 
so I'm probably going to keep it in my storage. But for those of you guys that actually want this monster, really, if you are really interested, I would say purchase these tickets. This is the only way, really. So, but maybe wait till near the end of the event because you'll see how much summons you can do. You know what I mean? With these red tickets that you're going to get throughout these events. Now, again, keep in mind, maze isn't the only thing that will be here. You know what I mean? There's going to be marathon. There's going to be breeding events and things like that. So give those a go. See how that goes. But I'm not really a huge fan of this event. I don't think... I'm just going to ignore it, honestly. I'm just going to act like it doesn't even exist. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this conjuring event. Let me know if you like it or not. And that's going to be pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video informative. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, share any thoughts on this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.